All right, good morning, uh, eighth graders. Um, Mrs. Beatty got a hold of me this past week and asked if I would do a little bit of a short uh, devotion or explanation of the Jesse tree. I'm assuming it has to do with your religious curriculum or your devotional time. So I will do my best to um, uh, hopefully answer the mail on that. I'm not exactly sure if, if what I've prepared is going to be what she was looking for, but uh, hopefully we'll see. Uh, apologize, my face is a little dark. Uh, the wireless connection at the church is down this morning, and um, so I'm unable to use my laptop with its its better camera sitting at my desk, so I've got to use an old, old webcam that plugs right into the computer. Uh, you guys probably don't even know what that is anymore with all this wireless stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and uh, start walking you through this, and I hope you're blessed by it. All right, uh, and we'll make it big. All right, there you should see a, a screen that says the Jesse tree. Now where this tradition all started was from a passage in the prophet Isaiah. Um, Isaiah 11, 1, and sometimes we hear this read at, at Advent time or Christmas. It says, a shoot will spring up forth from the stump of Jesse and a branch out of his roots. Okay, who was Jesse? Jesse was David's father, the great King David of the Old Testament, the one that was, uh, you know, slew Goliath with the stones and um, wrote most of the Psalms. Uh, the Bible says uh, David was a man after God's own heart. And there's probably no more other than maybe Noah or Moses. There's no more famous uh, hero of the Old Testament than King David. Well, Jesus uh, eventually will come out of David's lineage, he will be a shoot that will spring forth from the stump of Jesse. Uh, so sometimes Jesus is called David's son and David's Lord, uh, and there's a really a focus on David, but this is one of the few places where we realize David is a descendant of his father Jesse, so Jesus is also a descendant of Jesse. Um, so there's this kind of imagery of a stump there, you know, and out of that is going to grow a shoot. Um, a branch out of these roots, out of the remnant of the God's people Israel will come this one. Um, and that's, of course, talking about Jesus. Although when Isaiah prophesied this, he didn't exactly know how the prophecy was going to be fulfilled. So uh, a branch growing out of a stump would eventually grow into a tree. So uh, came the tradition of a Jesse tree. Um, here is just a little depiction of the uh, genealogy, if you will, of, of Jesus. And um, you can see there, it's kind of a lot of information on this chart, but um, right about in the middle of the screen, you see Obed has Jesse. Uh, I'll try to move my mouse. I don't know if you can see the mouse moving or not. Obed and Jesse. Uh, Jesse, right? And whoever David's mother is, which I, I believe is, is, is Bathsheba. Um, it comes down and here's David. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't know Jesse's wife's name or David's mother's name, but David uh, then through Bathsheba uh, gives birth to Solomon. Uh, and also then uh, from that line comes Joseph. And then also from David's uh, or marriage with Bathsheba comes uh, um, Nathan and on through that Mary to Jesus. So um, if you were to flip this on its head, it would it would grow up out of a tree. You'd have Jesse Jesse down down at the bottom, and up growing out of that would be a tree. So, out of Jesse's stump, out of the lineage of Jesse and David, grows a tree that will give birth to uh, Jesus. And so we have a great Advent hymn or Christmas hymn. Uh, low how a rose are blooming and it's kind of slow and dreary so I remember when I was a kid I didn't love it that much but man as an adult I realize how beautiful it is and the first verse of low how a rose are blooming says low how a rose are blooming from tender steth has sprung so uh, it's kind of explaining Jesus in terminology of a rose like you know a really beautiful flower that comes forth from this tree of, of Jesse's lineage coming as men of old have sung so the prophet Isaiah had sung about this blooming one who would come from Jesse's line. It said, it came a flower bright amid the cold of winter uh, when half spent was the night. So just a really pretty hymn stanza that incorporates this Jesse tree language. 
uh, also at Zion. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if I've ever been at a church that uh, has Advent uh, pyramids that reflect the Jesse tree, but at Zion we do on the front of the altar. Uh, you see that symbol in the middle that looks like a P and an X. That's actually the Greek word uh, letters Chi and Rho, which are the first two letters in the name Christ in Greek. So whenever you see that looks like a P and an X, that's really a Chi Rho symbol. And that just is a, a way to um, stand for Christ. And then around that, you see, is this tree, this Jesse tree. And you, so you see this kind of depicts that out of this tree grows Christ. Uh, so really a beautiful uh, frontlet on our altar uh, for this uh, Advent season as we're expecting the, the celebration of Christ's birth. So just a really quick explanation behind the Jesse tree then. So the Jesse tree is a very old tradition that was started in medieval times to teach the redemptive story of the Bible. There are usually 25 stories taught from creation to the Christmas story. Normally, one story is taught every day starting on December 1st and going all the way until Christmas Day. Of course, we already said this tradition is based off Isaiah 11.1. 1. Um, and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. This branch, or new life, was the one who gave us new life. He was born to give us new life and freedom from sin. And so um, the Jesse tree tradition then doesn't just follow the lineage of Jesus through Jesse, but said, you know, just like um, Jesus grew out of this tree of Jesse, uh, also the whole story from cre of the world, basically from creation until Jesus is a story about a, a tree growing and branching and giving us out Jesus. So a Jesse tree kind of takes the idea of uh, a branch sprouting from a tree and instead of following actually the physical lineage of Jesse, just follows all the story of the Bible and scriptures. And so here is uh, at least one list of ideas um, of different ornaments you could put together for a Jesse tree each day that would depict kind of uh, these uh, important events leading up to Christmas. And so you can see there, the, all of them begin with creation. I usually reflect Adam and Eve in the fall, uh, Noah's Ark, the call of Abraham, uh, all the way on down the line. So very, very important things. And here is a, uh, on the left, you see um, the typical, the most typical Jesse tree symbols, the apple, of course, the fall, uh, the Ark of the Covenant, you know, different stories you've learned in Sunday school and religion class your whole life. And then what happens is if you have a Jesse tree, you add uh, one of these ornaments uh, for each event leading up to Jesus uh, each day leading up to Christmas. And so it's kind of a neat tradition. So then I want to close with a devotion, a short devotion. I'll read the scripture again and we'll say, what does this mean? And we'll end with a prayer. On the left, a scripture, a shoot shall come from the stump of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Isaiah 11, 1 through 4. All right, next page. Uh, the image of the stump with the branch growing forth reminds us that God keeps his promises no matter what. The prophets proclaimed that from the line of Jesse, the father of King David, the Savior would enter the world. Although, although David was a good and faithful king, many of his descendants were not. They turned from God, and without the protection of God, they were overcome by their enemies and taken from their home as slaves. In fact, they wandered so far from God that the great family tree of Jesse was reduced to a mere stump. But our God keeps his promises even if we fail to keep ours. We were destroyed and disobedient, but not disowned. God remembered his promise and sent his own son into the world as a descendant of Jesse. Jesus is the branch that grew out of the stump of that family tree and redeemed the entire world. The Jesse tree will introduce you to many of the members of that family tree, though all those hundreds through all those hundreds and hundreds of years, God was busy writing a story of love for his beloved people. He was hard at work teaching them to love and preparing them to receive his own son as their savior. We pray. Dear Lord, help us to never doubt your faithfulness. Give us patience and courage as we wait, trusting fully that you are God and you love us. In your name we pray. Amen.
All right, boys and girls, have a great rest of your uh, school year leading up to Christmas. Not too many days left and a joyful Christmas celebration. We'll see you back in the new year and hopefully 2021 is going to bring us a lot more blessings than 2020 did. Godspeace.